Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz and 24 days of Frizzmas. My name is Kara. So if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're not, thanks so much for coming back. Today's video is another year in review. I am just taking some inventory on my makeup collection and just kind of, you know, going over this collection that I've accumulated this year. And, um, sharing it with you guys. It's kind of seeing that there's anything that I'm not using, you know, just so I can, you know, hold myself accountable and maybe make some smarter choices next year as well. So today is all about bronzer. So if this sounds good to you, keep on watching this video, leave me some comments and let me know what you think. Definitely consider subscribing and joining the community because I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, so I don't have a really extensive bronzer collection, but I'm just gonna share with you what I have. I got them all right here. Okay, so let's get started. One of my favorites, this was a big hit this year, is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I have this in the shade Tan. This is shade three. I have used this bronzer a lot and I have definitely not made a dent in it, maybe a small dent, but I feel like I will be using this for months and months to come. What's good about this one is that you can buy the refill to go in this beautiful clamshell. So I am happy about that. I really do like this bronzer a lot. I will be completely honest with you and I was just talking to my friend Yadi about this. I can't tell the difference in a lot of bronzers. Most of the time I get the same shade. There are some that I do have a shade variation in, but I mostly go for a, a warm look and uh, that's what I look at for most of my bronzers. So I feel like a lot of them perform the same. So maybe I don't need to pay as much because I do have a bronzer that is way cheaper that I absolutely love. And that is my Milani bronzer. This is the Silky Matte Bronzer and it is in the shade Sun Drenched. I absolutely love this bronzer. This may be my favorite. And like I said, this is a drugstore bronzer. It is beautiful and I love the finish on my skin. I don't feel like any of my bronzers look bad. They're not cakey. They just give you such a nice finish. Like once you put your foundation and concealer on and you're like that blank canvas, it just brings so much life back into your face. And this is a really, really good one. So just keep that in mind. I know I will be for the upcoming year. Now this bronzer, I don't use a whole lot, but this is one of the more different bronzers I have because you know, it has a color variation for me than my norm. This is by uh, NYX Cosmetics. This is the California Beam and Bronzer, and it's in the shade Beach Bum. And this shade is different for me. I usually go for a tan uh, skin tone, but this is a different shade. I don't know how you would describe it, but it to me has a more of a reddish uh, tone to it. I do use this. I don't use it a lot, but maybe I should start. I do like it. Okay, next by Too Faced Cosmetics, this is the Chocolate Diamond Powder. Now, this is a bronzer, but I would use it more as a topper because I don't particularly go for a shimmery bronze. I wouldn't mind using a little bit of this for a topper just to give me some extra glow. Uh, it's very beautiful, but it's not something that I think I would use on my own. I need to try it. I've never used it on its own, I don't think but I do need to use this more. Uh, this kind of fell into the sunken place and I need to bring it out. Okay, next by XX Revolution, I have the bronzer in the shade Vignette. Is it Vignette or Vignette? This shade, that shade. Okay, so this bronzer to me looks a bit cool toned. I know with this one, I have to be pretty light handed. Um, oh, I'm missing one that I don't, that I didn't bring out but that's the shade of this one. And just so you can see the uh, Charlotte Tilbury, because I didn't swatch it. See, I just feel like the Charlotte Tilbury is so warm compared to the XX Revolution one. So the XX Revolution one is not one that I, I really use that often. And just so you can see the Milani uh, Silky Matte, that's another warmer tone bronzer. So I, I'm really, I really go for the warm tones. 
So I'm going to include this with my bronzers. This is the Melt Digital Dust Duo Blush, but I just feel like this shade, which is Queen Bee, is more of a bronzer. I, I do need to try this. I haven't yet, but I just wanted to include it because I feel like, I don't know, I can try it as a blush, but I feel like this will go really well with my bronzers. And it has this really beautiful uh, honey highlight that goes with it. So I did include this in my bronzer collection. Next, I have two of the Gucci bronzers. I did buy these at the Sephora sale. I have the shade medium, which is shade three, and tan, which is shade four. Now, I really do like the tan over the medium, but I'm just gonna show you. First of all, these are gorgeous bronzers, and they should be because the price was not gorgeous but i did get it on sale so this is the medium which i do like this shade i just like the tan more so again this is more of a warm toned bronzer and then we have the tan which has more of a i feel like a reddish type tone to it so I have been using both of those and I really do like them. Next, I have a bronzer by Wet n Wild. This was featured in my drugstore haul video. Okay, I did use this in one of my videos and does this have a shade? Oh yes, the shade is West Shady Beaches and it has this little leaf print on it. And again, this is a warm tan but y'all see what i'm saying like i can't tell the difference between a lot of these shades so and performance wise i don't have an issue like i use i put the, i put the bronzer on i use a nice uh setting spray and i'm good to go so i don't know i need to get it together i don't need any more bronzers next two bronzers are by fenty so I have the powder form and then I also have the Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer. The powder form is in the shade uh, Beijing Gal. And this is the Sunstalker Bronzer. This is another one of my favorites. Uh, this might be the first bronzer I ever bought. Yes, it is. Uh, so, you know, you've got your warm tan shade again maybe if i did this and like maybe if i bought these and there was a lot of variety you know i could justify this but i can't and this is honey glaze so i mean you see what i'm going for and it's very consistent with all the bronzers that i have so it's like i need no more bronzers for next year so hopefully i'll come back to this video and you know realize that this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer, and this is the shade Radiant Bronze Light. This is a bit light, and I feel like, at first I felt like it didn't show up on my skin tone, but it does, but it, it is very light. And this is what it looks like on my finger, so you can see. But like with the Ambient Lighting Powder mixed in with this, um, it does look really light on my finger. And this is what it looks like here, so you can barely see that. Sometimes I use this one if I'm gonna use a deeper blush um, because it still gives my skin a nice bronzy glow, but it doesn't really give like definition is what I'll say. All right, next we have by Tarte. This is the Breezy Cream Bronzer. I don't think I've ever used this. Let's say it. Oh, it looks like I swatched it, but this is what it looks like and Let's just give it a swatch. This is a bit deep. Okay, so that's it right here. But again, there's not a whole lot of variety in these shades. So definitely know that this is something I need to slow down on purchasing. Okay, we have two bronze palettes by Natasha Denona. Okay, this one I love. This is the Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. Now, ooh, there's one bronzer I have to go grab too. All right, so this is what this looks like. And I really like this one. You have your glow cream base and your super glow. So this is the glow cream base and the super glow. And then you have the blush and bronze powder. And then you have the glow impact powder. So this is something I do use pretty frequently. And I like that it has the bronzer and the highlight together. So it's kind of a one-stop shop where that's concerned. 
And then I have the Natasha Denona Bronze Cheek Face Glow Palette. And this made me mad. So you'll see that two of the shades are missing because I got mad because they dried up and I, I just was really uh, irritated by it. So I scraped them out and put them in the trash. But um, this is the Super Glow Bronze. And again, I think I do prefer a matte bronzer and then maybe put something like this on top because it is very pretty and glowy. But um, when I initially put bronzer on, I'm doing it to like replace the color in my skin and not necessarily give me a glow. It's just giving me um, warmth. So this will probably be like one of my least favorites, I guess, because I'm not going to use this by itself. And then it comes with this super glow nude highlight. Um, you know, so this is nice. In the top that I uh, scraped out, we had the Bounce Cream Glow and the Bounce Cream Blush, which were new formulas, but I really hadn't touched this for a while, but I, I packed my stuff nice and put it away nicely. So when I tried using it again, cause it's like a putty type feel. And when I saw that um, it was like really dry and not working, I just lost all control and put it in the trash. I have one more bronzer left. Let me go grab it, I'll be right back. Okay, so last but not least in my bronzer collection is by Tom Ford. And this is the Shade and Illuminate Duo. Oh, this is the Skin Illuminating Powder Duo. And the shade is Flicker. So I did purchase this from Saks Off Fifth not too long ago. And this is what it looks like here. And this was a really great price because I think these may run at least $88. Now this, for some reason, I, I just, this is a little bit darker for my taste. Um, it does have a sheen to it, but it's a little dark and a little cool for me. If you look at the rest of the bronzers that I've purchased, that I've swatched, you can see that this is probably the darkest one. And so I just don't know. I feel like it was making my face look a tad dirty and I don't wanna look dirty. I think if I diffuse this out really good, we'll be fine, I'll be fine. I am gonna use this because like, I just feel like I need to. And it does come with this beautiful highlight. So I'll at least use the highlight, but I'll try to use the bronzer and maybe what I can do is maybe put something like this Too Faced one on top. Let's, let's do it real quick. Yeah, and maybe if I do it like that, I can warm it up some. Cause I'm, I'm gonna use what I have y'all. Like it will get used. I'm not saying I'm a hit pan, but it will be used. So, cause I don't have any money to be just throwing stuff away. So yeah, I think if I do it like that, that'll be a really nice color combination. But um, that's my bronzer collection. It's pretty quick today, but um, I am, sharing my entire makeup collection kind of as a year in review. Like I said, for me to kind of take an inventory and just document my journey with my collection and my spending and just, you know, kind of look at, you know, the year to come and look at like, do I need this much? You know, or what did I like? What didn't I like? So that I can make smarter purchases in the future. So in the comments, definitely let me know what your favorite bronzers have been this year. I'd, I'd really like to know. That's all I have today for this video. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and giving it to me. You know, I do appreciate you all coming to hang out. Make sure you are being gentle with yourself, talking to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.